I wanted to get an idea of uh, what you're all about, man. Some of the things that you've done in the past. Uh, now a lot of people know who you are, and uh, you, you were a former city councilor, former police officer, former police officer, former city clerk, okay. and a telephone executive. Excellent, excellent. When I was on the city council, they were starting urban renewal, and the urban uh, renewal portion of the program, they would pay any one of the stores involved or business involved any changes they made during the program. They would reimburse them if they made cha changes to upkeep their property or change their property during that period, and then they would pay for their buildings when it was torn down to make a new area. Mm -hmm. The Havel Housing Authority had a tremendous program going. It would have been excellent if politics didn't get involved in it. And as you can see now, it's all we've got is first phase. The second phase never took place. The third phase and the fourth phase, phase were denied. And the second, third, and fourth stage uh, was more on the idea of saving properties? or They wanted to save properties. We wanted to tear it down. We had 50 different contractors. Mm -hmm. Search all the properties on Merrimack Street and to tell what they recommend, right. whether they're going to bid on it or not. Then the federal government's program, was, even if they're in conflict of interest, hire them. They can give you the true story. We hired them, and two or one, every one of the contractors said those buildings had to be condemned. Right. You couldn't even put a shingle on the roofs because the beams were so rotted. They were putting shingles together with coat hangers, different things. And then somebody come along and said, no, we ought to do this, and we ought to do this, and we ought to save that. And they had one of them. And I walked that street mm -hmm. for three years as a police officer, and I thought that was the ugliest combination of buildings I've ever seen in my life. And I thought it was great during the city council term that I was there that they tear that whole side down and make that a whole park and open up the Merrimack River. For years we hid the Merrimack because it was a sewer. Yeah. Right. Now we started the cleanup program, the river's clean, now we can make it our front door instead of the back door and hide it. We could have opened it up and we could have done wonders with it. But politics fought as they were. I offered the program to make it a downtown shopping mall. Right. Cover it over so they could shop all winter, summer or winter long without getting cold. And Irving knew would have paid for everything. Hmm. And, but they would have to make an investment to begin with. They'd be reinvested for the investment, but not one Havel business would invest in it. But Seva Spears, well, which was now Park Sm Snows, their president was in Waltham who listened to the council meetings every night. Oh, is that right? And yeah. he heard the proposal and he sent a check out the first thing in the morning to the manager of Pearson, Mr. Pearson of Park Snows, for $100,000 to start the program going and not one business in Havel would support it. Unbelievable. So constantly greatly, that still stands today as it was when we started Urban Renewal. Winter Street was going to be changed, Summer Street was going to be changed. They got Phase 1 was done on what uh, Durso, Tony Durso put in. Mm -hmm. He was the chairman of the board, housing authority, and he drew up the diagram for it. This is what you could do. So instead of hiring somebody, they put it in, and that's mm -hmm. all you've got is what his ideas was and what he did for the city. 